In this video, I'll show you how to plan your very first outdoor tour using the brand new Komoot Route Planner on your computer. Welcome to the Outdoor Tech Instructor. On the start page, you'll find the Route Planner by simply hovering your mouse over the green new button in the top right corner. A small drop-down menu appears, select Plan New Route from there. To avoid being overwhelmed by all the information on the map, let's tidy up the screen first and turn off some of the displays. Click in the top center of the map on map content. Then disable trail view, we'll use that in another video, and also disable saved places. We'll keep highlights enabled, but turn off segment highlights. Leave the places option off and close the menu with a click on X. Now the map already looks much cleaner. First, let's plan a simple route with one starting point and one destination. That will help you understand the basic functions of the new route planner. In my example, I'm taking the train from one station to another and I want to hike back on foot. On the left side, above the waypoints, select your sport type. It's essential, because it determines how Komoot calculates your route. You can either search for your starting point in the text field or, even easier, click directly on the map. I'll click on the highlight of the train station, recognizable by the blue icon, and set it as point A. On the left, in the waypoint list, you'll now see the station as your start, and on the map it appears as a green A. To move the map, click and hold the left mouse button, then drag it in any direction. To zoom in or out, simply use your mouse wheel. You can enter the destination in the search field or, just like before, click it directly on the map. I'll choose the station where my train journey started and set it as point B. Komoot now calculates the route automatically. It's displayed as a red line with direction arrows. At the bottom center, you'll see the elevation profile. You can close it for now with a click on the arrow in the middle. Below that, you'll see your key route data, the total distance, estimated duration, and elevation gain. If you're happy with your route, click Save Route, give your tour a name, and confirm with Got It. In the overview, you can then click Navigate to send the tour directly to your smartphone. A notification will appear on your phone. When you tap it, your newly planned tour will open automatically. Alternatively, you can send the tour to your phone while still in the planning view. Click the device icon in the top right and select Phone. Komoot will send the tour straight to your phone. Tap the notification and the tour opens, ready to navigate. Now let's plan a round trip. I'm starting again at the train station and want to finish the tour at the same place. So I'll set the station as point A, just as before by clicking on the highlight. For a round trip, we still need a destination first. I'll choose a place I'd like to visit and set it as my destination. To make it a round trip, click on round trip below the waypoints. Your starting point now also becomes the end point, and point B changes to point 1. At this stage, Komoot sends you back the same way to the start. So let's add one more point to make it a real loop. I'll select a highlight on the map and click Add to Route. Komoot recalculates the path. And now I have a true round trip. If you don't like the direction of travel, you can easily change it. Click on the two arrows directly above the waypoints. You'll see immediately how the order of the points and the direction arrows on the map change. At the bottom center, you'll again find the main details of your tour, the distance, duration, and elevation gain. Save your tour for later or send it straight to your smartphone. If you make a change you don't like, use the undo option at the top. If your map orientation has changed, click the compass icon on the right side to align the map north again. In a later tutorial, We'll take a closer look at the search function, add more waypoints to your tours, and adjust the route exactly the way you want. We'll also explore other useful map layers that can make your planning even more precise. Are you looking for simple and easy to understand tutorials? 
then you've come to the right place here at the Outdoor Tech Instructor. Make sure to subscribe and activate the bell so you never miss another tutorial.